Hey people, how's it going? It's Impala 100. We're back playing on our single player world today. Thanks so much for tuning in. You just saw some clips of us doing some mining. And let's put on our armor again, because we are in a cave after all. Oh, wow. Lava's been doing good up here. Does this not work down here? This might just be a coincidence here. Uh, we updated snapshots recently, so maybe there's a new lava mechanic? I have no idea. Anyways, while this peaceful music is playing, we will show off all that we gathered from the mines here. We have some coal. We uh, topped off two stacks of coal here. And also used some more uh, in the fern eye here. And on top of the copper we already had mined up, uh, we got a few more stacks. Oh, I guess we need to cook up some iron there still. We'll come back to that. But yes, so look at all the copper we have here. I think... Are we able to turn this into a stack of blocks? Oh, almost a full stack of copper blocks. We are getting extremely rich here in copper. And then we also have plenty of iron. Look at that. Just a little bit over a stack of iron. This was from another 30-minute caving session. Again, nothing crazy. Um, while this iron is cooking up here, I guess it's almost done, is it? Okay, we'll wait to get this last little piece here. Boom. Okay. Uh, I wanted to show you this cave. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool. If we go down here, and we need to make more rails again to kind of complete this. But if we go down here and turn left, we have entered this cave multiple times, uh, from different... Uh, mining tunnels I think the most recent one was yes this way here so we went down this way and I heard a spider falling I thought we'd be running into a dungeon um, but when we go up I think this is the actual spot right here when we go up we entered into a different segment of a cave we had already explored but kind of cut off so um, a few episodes ago, I kind of uh, showed some clips of us mining in this room here. Um, but this ravine was too uh, dark and there's like a zillion mobs in here. So I never really uh, showed it off. Um, well, we explored this ravine for the most part. There's still some, you know, resources like some coal up top and surely some iron and all that other stuff. We could come back here if we're desperate, but it's a little tough to get. Um, one thing I wanted to share though is up here i saw an exit where was this at again i could have sworn was it up here in the oh right up here perfect so anyways up in this space oh ran out of stuff okay we're gonna continue to find our way up here oh and it's nighttime this is gonna be fun okay well good decisions with impala 100 welcome back to another segment of that uh, today we're going to go outside here. I wanted to share that I found a new area here. And there's nothing special about it. I think... Oh, there's a village. Right up there on top of that hill. And then the music goes quiet. That's perfect. So, if I did my calculation correctly, I think that way's our home. Because... That hill there, I remember seeing more pumpkins a while ago, and this could just be a coincidence. And we got to get inside. Look at all these creepers here. Okay. Anyways, um, seeing that, though, inspired me. I'm like, hey, I really haven't done too much exploring outside of our media area. Um, so I definitely want to make this more of an exploring-focused episode. And um, recently, I've been kind of, uh, you know, inspired by looking at the different ways. And again, this is another way down through one of our other tunnels, by the way. Um, I've been inspired to try a different approach to exploring a little bit more of a, I guess you could say a strategy or a system. And uh, we're going to need a few items to get that going today. But um, hopefully you guys find this inspiring and maybe it's a way in which you guys want to explore your own worlds too. Especially around the beginning of the game without an elytra, uh, without all the craziness that Minecraft has to offer. Um, okay. And we're going to take our just completely inefficient, again we have to get this fixed, um, <laughs> my current system here so i'm gonna meet you guys up at the surface here 
and we're gonna get started with kicking off this exploration adventure. Okay, we are on the surface here, and the first thing I need for us to explore is not a map, is not a compass, it's actually wool. And we have plenty of wool, or plenty of sheep that we can shear to turn into wool. However, I want to get different colors of wool, including red, yellow, green, and blue. So for red and yellow, I need flowers, and I don't want to take flowers out near our base here. I kind of want to go a little further out. So I'm actually going to take flowers out of here, and I think this is going to be plenty. So we'll try to find some more dandelions. Actually, I think I have some in a chest back home, but we'll get a decent amount here just in case we need more dyes in the future. Um, so yeah, we're uh, literally picking flowers to start the episode. Who would have thought? Oh, and there's blue as well here. I had no idea. I was actually going to utilize some lapis for blue dye, which I might actually still do. This is all very nice flowers, by the way. I think I'm just going to take them all. It's good to have some, uh, some decent looking flowers, right? Okay, it is time to make some dyes. So if we open up our inventory here, what I'm going to do, I think we should get three of each so far. So three dyes of so red yellow and then three blue and then i want to make three more blue and three more yellow for us to hopefully make green dye i think that's how it works right oh no it doesn't allow you to oh i was really hoping to make green dye okay well no worries we'll make six of each and i'll actually Toss in a few here for orange. I guess we can make orange dye then. Okay, well that's a bummer, but I, I understand why the game does that. Um, they want you to go find a, uh, a desert biome to make green dye via cactus, so that makes sense. Um, but now what I wanna do is go dye our sheep. I wanna see if I have, I have a spare carpet somewhere. I already know I do. Yep, there we go. I don't like leaving these out, but I do like using them as a tool to get over the, the fences sometimes. So I'm gonna go here, place this carpet here. Get out, get, there we go, perfect. And we're gonna hop on in and just dye a few sheep some different colors. So we'll get three blue to start out with. Put that away. We'll get three red. Put that away. A few yellow. There we go. And then a few orange. Okay. And I like blue dye, so maybe one more there and one more there. Perfect. Now we're gonna go through, see how much wool we get through this process here. Oh, come on. This is so frustrating. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so plenty of uh, wool now. Let's see the totals here if we hop on over. So we have 10 blue, four red, six orange, and seven yellow. So we're able to make a yellow banner, an orange, and a blue, but we still need a few more red wool. However, we don't need to wait on this here. We'll just, uh, what is it? We'll take this carpet here and we can obviously come back later to get more colored wool in the future, but we just need one banner each so, so far. Okay, and I don't know what to do with all this extra dye here. I guess we'll just leave it here for now. We're gonna have to get some more storage. You know what? I'm gonna actually go ahead and make a few more chests here uh, so we're not cramming up more chests for no reasons. Okay, this could be our little dye station here. So, uh, yeah, something like this. Perfect. And what I'm going to do is take two more roses or poppies. They used to be called roses, I'm pretty sure, before the rose bush came out. So we're going to take two of those alongside four wool and take all of those. And we're just getting six wool each for, for now to start. Um, and these are going to be used to craft banners real quick. Oh, and I totally forgot. I need two more white wool to dye it manually here. So this is what I was, you know, getting the extra dye for. It's obviously not the most efficient way uh, to get uh, red wool or any other different colored types of wool. But yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so still a glitch right here, by the way. It's showing orange banner, yellow banner. It's still showing up as a white banner here. Um, so <laughs> that's going to be uh, tricky here. So we'll go ahead and make an orange one. 
a blue one and a red one. Um, okay, it would have been a lot nicer uh, had the game not been glitched here, but hopefully it'll get fixed. Um, so we're going to be using these alongside an anvil uh, to rename uh, different locations on a map. So that's a really cool feature uh, that we have in the game here. Um, so whenever you press a map against a banner, it'll uh, show a little marker. Um, so we're going to rename the markers wherever we go to using an anvil and customize the name. And we're going to do a little bit of color coordination as well. Um, I think what I want to do is, uh, and we could uh, kind of toss this all out right here. For a red banner, I want that to mark a biome of sorts. Uh, as far as a blue banner goes, I want that to represent a structure, like a, a jungle temple or, you know, uh, archaeological dig site, that sort of stuff. Um, a yellow banner here, I want that to uh, indicate a village specifically. I think um, as far as our approach to trading goes, I want to map out all the different villages because in each village there's a different... Um, book you could get and i need to read more into that and then for this orange banner here uh this is going to be any other point of interest if i see a cool looking cave or anything like that uh, that's what it's going to be um could there be more color coordination in the future who knows but this is the how i wanted to start out the video here now that we have this out of the way i'm going to put away some of our tools and we're going to do some last minute prep work before we hit the road so we're gonna go ahead and make four compasses here to make four different maps because at our spawn point there, uh, we're gonna start four different separate maps. On top of that, we're gonna need lots of paper, which we do not have here. We actually need to go to our windmill to gather up some sugar cane. And I'm thinking we're just gonna make a full stack of paper um, or yeah, however much this gets us here. So I think this will get us almost a full stack, perfect. And because we're going to need that in the future when we create an enchanting setup, so might as well just get it over with and make that much paper. We have the sugar cane for it. And now we're going to go back here and make a couple of different things. I don't have any wood there, so we'll just do this here. We're going to go ahead and make a cartographer's table, uh, or cartography table, sorry. Uh, very specific there. Um, and then on top of that, four empty maps. And so we're going to keep this paper with us alongside... Uh, the empty maps and I guess we'll do something like this for now and then we'll take this cartography table in a second it looks like it's getting dark so I'm gonna go oh wow beautiful <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and sleep real quick um, but after that uh, we'll get started with creating the maps here and uh, going about our business okay so we're gonna go ahead and open up our first fresh map uh, wherever we're at right now and it looks like we're specifically, yeah, on this boundary here. I want to max these out um, just for us to, um, I don't know, just for us to be able to explore more over time. I'm not too worried about having a super detailed map. This is strictly for exploration. So um, we have right here our first map. How great. Look at the oxidation, by the way, on the map. You see that there? <laughs> That's that's pretty cool oh my gosh i didn't even realize the map could uh see that oxidation there oh and he's spinning again spinny master ugwe how are you doing we might actually be using master ugwe in a bit fyi so what i want to do here is expand this all the way so you take this map until it doesn't allow you to expand any further there you go so there is our fully expanded map and what we could do now is take this to our spawn point in just a second to open up all the other maps here. Okay, so now we are at the top left corner, which is right near our spawn chunks here, but we're not technically on the new map. So for us to start opening other maps here, we need to watch ourselves. Uh, what is it? We need to watch ourselves exit this map. So we're going to continue to go north here for a bit. Oh, is there a cave down here? Ooh, beautiful. Okay. And then once our little... Oh my... Yes, there is a cave. That's so cool. I went the wrong way when I spawned in. There's a ton of caves up here. Okay. So are we off? 
the map. Okay, we are showing off the map now because you don't see our little arrow pointing anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this new one and look at that. So now this is a, oh, pillagers, no, don't go near the village. Go away. Oh my gosh, these guys won't leave us alone. They're on a manhunt. The bloodhounds are after us here. Okay, so I'm going to do this basically for every single corner of spawn here. Um, so, yeah, once this is done right here, obviously, we take our cartography table. We then max it out, and then we're going to have four maxed out maps for us to work with. Okay, and I think we just maxed out our last map here. So I kind of have them in the cardinal directions. Uh, right here, so this is our southeast map, which we live on. Uh, there's the northeast and then northwest, southwest. So we're all set in that regard. I really hope those pillagers didn't go into... Uh, <laughs> I hope they didn't go into that village there. That would be a very sad uh, development here. Um, but now what we're going to do, we're going to grab Master Ugwe. We're also going to make a brand new bed for us in case we need to sleep through the night on our adventure here and then we're going to head on out and pick a direction i think um to start today's episode uh, we will actually go uh this way because i want to explore the uh what should we call it i want to explore that little mangrove forest up there we could get some mud and maybe see some frogs and all that cool stuff so let me get situated here and we'll get cooking in just a second okay so we are almost ready so just so you know i put all the maps where they should be in here so again still northwest southwest southeast uh, we have our northeast map here and one thing i wanted to make is a lead i've actually only gotten these from wandering traders until now um, but i have a slime chunk beneath me and also plenty of string so we just made ourselves a few leads and i don't have any here which is wonderful so we'll put one back and actually we'll take an extra just in case. But we have some leads and oak fences in case we need to tie up our horse on the adventure. Sorry, Master Ugwe, I know your name. This is going to get some getting used to here. We're off. No more filibuster. We have successfully prepared. We have all of our banners here and all the stuff we could ever need on an adventure trip. So without further ado, uh, let the adventuring commence. Okay, so a few things here. So that is another village, in fact. And I was right about my bearings here. Um, this is closer than the other one. Oh, and there's a cave down there. Okay, this mountain's going to need some more exploration done for sure. There's definitely some caves up here. And this is a very tiny mangrove forest. But this is a savannah village as opposed to, oh my gosh, is that an armadillo? Oh my, ouch. There's a cat, there's an arm, okay, there's a lot to take in here, hold up. And a creeper, I see a creeper. Okay, Master Ugwe, don't die, be smart, don't die. Okay, there's a huge cave beneath here, okay. This is all right near our base by the way there's melons okay there's too much going on right now okay iron golem i'm really needing you to do your job here while it's dark outside master ugwe you could sniff the roses right here okay we're gonna go ahead and sleep on our i want to rename this uh to our sleeping bag because that's what we're going to be using it for specifically okay lots to take in here at this village so I want to go a few things. Oh my gosh, it's sketchy. Sketchy village. This is what it's going to be called. Sketchy village. And we need to see that armadillo there. That's something. I need to learn more about armadillos because I can make dog armor. I don't even have a dog yet though, which is the crazy part. So, oh my gosh, you're so cute. Okay. One step at a time here. So what I wanted to do uh with exploring so i want to find the village center which is right here i want to face north which i believe we're facing north right now perfect we will then take our banner which i believe the yellow is the village right so we'll take a yellow banner here 
We're going to rename it to uh, Sketchy Village. There we go. So we're going to call this Sketchy Village now. We're going to place down the banner for Sketchy Village right here. And then we will take this here, shift, and press. Boom! So now you can see on our map, Sketchy Village pops up here. And then we can take this away, and we're all set. We move on to the next thing. And then we'll keep renaming the banner to different stuff. We're just going to be using up some levels, but this is going to be my meth. Oh, no. Did it get rid of it? Oh, no. We need to keep it there. Oh, so we're going to need a lot more wool. Okay. Well, that's staying there. Hopefully, we don't find another village today. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There's also bees here. There's like literally everything. Okay. Stay there. Nope. There you go. You stay right there, sketchy village banner. Okay, so that's something I didn't know. And again, you, you learn something new doing these types of videos all the time. So um, again, this is a cool area. I'm excited to explore more of it. And there's also a mangrove swamp up here with some propagules. I want to take a few propagules and I might actually harvest mud from this area. It's kind of an awkward, if it was like a huge mangrove swamp, I try to preserve it more. So we'll just take a few propagules here for us to make our own mangrove trees eventually. And that's going to be a source of moss carpet too, which is just beautiful. Okay. So yeah, we'll get like four, five, six. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So cool stuff. I don't feel the need to mark the, um, I don't feel a need to mark that, um, there's a mangrove swamp here because it's right next to our base, literally. But Sketchy Village, we had to do it here. Let's see how this guy works. Hey, bud. Okay, so doesn't really care about me if I hit him once. Yes, that's what I was looking for. That cow's... <laughs> you are cruel. <laughs> okay. So I guess that's the uh, armadillo... Um, the armadillo reflex right there. That is hilarious. Yep. Oh, he's in there again. What did, did I do something? So if I touch him, no, it might be a little randomized too. Okay. Well, uh, now that we got that out of the way, I actually want to get some melon slices here. Uh, this is definitely something good again. We might raid this village, see if there's any other, you know, good loot. Okay, more empty maps and more paper. Don't need that yet, but we'll take it. So this is the cartographer's house. <gasps> Ooh, a blast furnace guy. Okay, so I could trade you armor or iron and coal for armor eventually. That's actually good to know. Ooh, another uh, cartographer up here. A very esteemed bunch living here. So if I give you paper, you will give me emeralds. That's good to know. So we could get some... Uh, paper farming going or some sugarcane farming going to trade with these guys oh my gosh look at that we could trade rotten flesh and emeralds for redstone that's good to know and we can actually i'm trying to do something here in this server or on this series so hear me out oh where's my face i want to try to preserve the villages um so i'm not going to be stealing workstations i might add a few workstations and stuff but i'm not going to be taking anything out um, so that being said, I'm not going to take that brewing stand here. If I want to brew potions, which I haven't even gone to the nether, so that's way in the future, I'd have to come up here to Sketchy Village. Okay. And we have a compass. Beautiful. Okay, so there's a ton of cartographers up here in Sketchy Village. Uh, looks like there might be a farmer or two as well with all that they're farming up here. And I'm going to take... The stack of melons. I know I'm saying I'm preserving villages. I'm preserving the workstations here. Um, but as far as, yeah, this stuff goes, uh, definitely want to take it here. So we have plenty of melons to farm up now. And I'm so glad we explored this little area here. Okay, Master Ugwe, time to leave. It was nice meeting you, Sketchy Village. Hope to see you again. Let's see if we find some other cool stuff now. Besides a zillion caves, again, yeah, we need to go over here and definitely get some iron. That's the way to do it. It 
So I used to explore, like just filling out the outlines of the map and filling it in, filling in the blanks. And I tend to kind of spoil stuff for myself. I think I'm going to try to stick more along the rivers here. You see what I'm saying? And just kind of aimlessly wander and then fill in the gaps at some point. So yeah, just to give y'all an idea, the cave that we were exploring was right over there where that torch is at. So yeah, we were correct at the beginning of the episode where we were at. So it was cool to see that sketchy village is now so close to where we live. And look at this river expanding over here. Oh, incredible. Oh, jungle. That was not far at all. Anything out here? Sweet. We're going to hug this river on into the jungle area up here. How beautiful. That was so close. Oh, and I think we might be trapped here. Oh, and we got some of these beautiful flowers. We'll take just a handful. Got some lilacs. We could always bone meal them for more. Any other? Any other flowers for us now? Okay. Oh, yes, peonies. These ones are my favorites. Are there any other flower people in Minecraft? Absolutely. I couldn't care less about flowers in real life, but in Minecraft, love me a good flower. There we go. We have cocoa beans. Look at that. It's great. Cocoa beans. Oh, is that bamboo? Oh, we got, oh wait. We're not going to lose Uguay. Come back here, sir. I'm sorry for leaving you. Never again. Oh, he's leaving me. He's like, I don't care about you. You barely feed me. My pen is crammed. Okay. <laughs> We're going We're gonna to try to get some jungle, jungle saplings here. I'm not necessarily worried about jungle wood, but get a few saplings. And then uh, after that, we will get some bamboo too. Okay, so before we go any further, we need to do the dang thing where we, uh, what is it? We take, uh, we're facing north, right? Are we facing north? Where, can I see it again? Okay, there we go. North, perfect. <laughs> I'm like, where am I looking again? So I need to take a red banner here, rename it Jungle Biome, Control All, Jungle Biome take that here and we can't so I guess we can't find another biome here anymore but we'll go ahead take this and then we will press our map right there boom jungle biome how beautiful okay well now that's our our jungle biome banner there I guess we should do some exploring it's very tough with a horse here so we'll just try to you know again Stay tuned to our map here and we'll come back for Master Uguay, who's all tied up, so we're all good there. I want to try and find a jungle temple now. See if that's possible. Or maybe find anything else cool, I guess. So let's uh let's continue on here. Oh, I see a bird. Oh my gosh. Seeds. We're getting seeds. I should have kept the seeds from the uh village here. We're gonna get a BFF. We're getting ourselves a best friend here. Okay. Is he really our friend if he doesn't take five seeds as payment though? That's the real question. Okay. Oh no, no, you get back here, sir. That was rude. <laughs> You wouldn't accept my gift. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. No, the five seed rule applies here. I apologize. Oh. You see what happened to the last guy? <laughs> Choose wisely here. We're actually going to just take five melon seeds. How about that? We don't need all those. Okay. There we go. See, that's what I'm talking about. Get up here. Look at that. That's a best friend forever, for sure. Um, let me know what we need to name this guy. Um, yeah, three seeds, two seeds. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man, that might have been the most grim thing I've ever done in Minecraft here. 
Oh my gosh, guys. We have wolves. How are you doing? I don't have any bones. However, I do want to come back here at some point. We have plenty of bones back home. So I'm going to go ahead, take our orange banner for miscellaneous, and type in wolves here. So I'll know what I'm doing here. Press it in. Boom. So wolves are right next to the jungle biome, and I don't like how that... We'll eventually get rid of that, but that reminds us that, hey, we need to come back here and, uh, you know, yeah, get some new best friends here. So I totally forgot about this feature. I saw it and I thought it was a jungle cat. I was going crazy. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, we explored most of the jungle. Um, I did not find anything else cool. I mean, it's just a cool, you know, cool stuff, I guess. I, I don't know how else to put it. Uh, where is Master Ugwe? You have to be close to this way, right? There you are. There's Master Ugwe. Okay, so I decided the next direction I want to go with Master Ugwe and our unnamed parrot pal. Are you going to be able to... Come on. You're going to pop back up? Okay, and then we'll... Oh my gosh, it's a happy family. Beautiful. Okay. Anyways, now that this is done, I think I'm going to go around this way here, I believe. I think this is a good direction to go. I could be wrong. But I don't know. We're just going to go this way and just aimlessly wander at this point. Oh, Dark Oak. Oh, I'm so excited. We're finding all these cool different... We have a pretty good area. Oh, and then there's more, you can see more jungle this way too. So I actually didn't explore all of it. So we have a dark oak forest this way. I don't have another banner, sadly. But there is some resources I could take back, including the uh, dark oak trees. And then as well as that, some mushrooms. I want to take back some red and some brown mushrooms. I actually really wanted those for the enchanted forest, by the way. Um, so again, we're needing some items here and, uh, yeah, that's one of them. So anyways, let me tie up Master Ugwe here. I'm going to swim across to the other side, get some dark oak saplings and some mushrooms and see if we could find anything cool there. Okay. So our big happy family here is done. Uh, we have four dark oak saplings, hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully we don't need to come back for more. I actually ran out of axe durability here and figured we're running out of space to begin with so didn't want to try to mine for cobblestone and get like a ton of saplings. So we can just come back out here if we ever need to again. But I think we need to start at least heading back home. I want to follow this river. I want to see if it actually links up to the river system that we have there because if so... That would be an incredible way for us to kind of utilize our port a bit more instead of using a horse if we ever want to come back to this area. So that's good to know in case that is the truth. Um, or maybe it doesn't link up and then we won't do that. But I'm hoping for the sake of utilizing our boat travel a bit more, it is the case. <gasps> more pups. Oh my gosh, another wolf. Hi, wolf. Okay, well, that's good to know. I guess we'll, you know, come back to this point in the video here in case we don't find wolves elsewhere. But that's good to know that they're here too. It looks like they're abundant. Just once you get out of spawn, right? More pups. Hey, pups. Ocean. Okay, hold up. One second. So that way's home. And we guessed this before, but now it's 100% confirmed. This is an ocean out here. So we could actually, yeah, boat our way to the ocean. So that is indeed a port. I think we brought that up. Oh, mountains. Hold up. This is some of the jankiest terrain generation. Oh, llamas. Hi, llamas. Uh, some of the jankiest terrain generation I've ever seen. Okay, let's let this load in just for a second. Oh, and a little cave right there. That's spooky. Okay. Well, here's some extreme hills here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and there's spruce. We actually need this. Okay. Hold up. And I already placed this by accident, but I actually need to stop here. There you go. Oh, is this not going to work? Okay, there we go. 
Sweet. All right. Well, this wasn't planned, uh, but spruce wood, fun stuff. And it's, oh my gosh, the mountains here. It's something else. Okay, well, we're going to take this by hand because we don't have any axe durability left. And I think we'll just have enough space here to get some saplings. Okay, and there's a sapling. And yeah, we are literally out of space here. Oh my gosh. We'll see if we can get a few more saplings here. But spruce, I'm not too worried about the saplings regenerating. Okay, we are legitimately out of inventory space. Minus one. Um, yeah, we'll get away from that creeper. Enter scene, creeper, enter scene, left stage. But yeah, we had a very awesome exploration trip. We barely even put a dent into this map. And uh, what is, is that, did I already see this one? What an incredible looking cave system here. Okay. Well, this was awesome. Um, being able to do a little bit of exploration. What, oh, sneaky little cave there. Okay. But this is awesome doing some exploring. Um, I think what we're going to do now when we get back, we're going to call this an episode and re-enter the Enchanted Forest. So just give me a few moments here and I should be back shortly. Okay. So two parts to this here for the Enchanted Forest. We actually have a new channel member. So we're going to be adding to our member tree here first and foremost. Reddit Reddick731. Thank you so much for becoming a channel member. It's kind of weird saying that. I don't know. When I started YouTube, there was no such thing as channel members. People had to go to a different platform called Patreon. I don't even know if that's still around or not. But anyways, we're going to go here, take this out, and we will add another oak sapling to the tree here. Look at that. And where do we want it to be? Maybe we could display it right here. How do we do it on the last one? So it's on top of the on top of the ladder here. So we'll go ahead and do that. And how I'm doing this for the channel member stuff, I did fix it up. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the month they became a channel member. So February 2024, Zinc. And it's gonna be May 2024 for Redditch. Or Reddick. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to pronounce this. I watch too much NBA basketball. And so whenever I see that I see, it's an itch instead of ick. I don't know. All right, Redditch, uh, please uh, correct me in the comments for what your <laughs> name or how your name is pronounced. Thank you so much for becoming a channel member. And we'll add a preliminary little uh, ladder uh, for the potential next member here. So this is getting very chaotic already. Look at this, three trees. Oh my gosh, the chaos has just begun. It actually looks pretty cool. I like this idea a lot. So we're gonna continue running with it. Uh, but now that we got that out of the way, I do wanna highlight uh, one comment uh, that stood out to me that I saw on one of the previous videos. So today's comment uh, came from Douglas Gordell and he's usually commenting on, on most of these videos. So Doug, thank you so much for all the support. Uh, if you guys are familiar with my channel and, you know, past series and stuff, I've always shouted out Doug. Um, he's a huge inspiration to me. He is a uh, multiple world record Minecrafter. Um, look it up. Um, his world's insane. It's one of the coolest worlds ever, and I aspire to have a world just as cool as his one day. Um, the amount of time he put in is insane. I could go on and on about Doug. He is incredible. Uh, he had a very punny comment. It's not really a question. It was punny, and I thought it would be funny enough to share here. He said, uh, Dang, I thought I was your biggest fan, but now that you made that windmill, dot, 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 I got a good laugh, okay? Um, yeah, so this was a comment left on the uh, episode where I built this windmill, and uh Doug's always coming in with the puns, so uh, if you guys uh, know a way to my heart, uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, funny puns, especially with windmills and being a biggest fan, <laughs> so awesome. Well, guys, that's going to do it while this beautiful new 1.21 music is playing. Thank you so much for your support on the series. It's just been, uh, again, overwhelming. Uh, thanks to each and every one of you leaving likes, leaving dislikes, commenting, subscribing. Um... I'm a very lucky individual, so just thank you so much. 
in the next episode, um, just to give you a bit of a tease here, we're running out of space. Um, we are running out of space in our little hidey hole here. I think it's time we uh, get around. Oh, oxidized copper trap door. Fun stuff. Um, yeah, I think it's time that we start planning out our, our house. So I think we're going to build a house above ground and try to do a unique uh, way to showcase that. Um, don't ask how this happened, uh, but I'm finally using a lightning rod here. <laughs> so if you guys have names for this guy, let me know. Anyways, uh, again, thanks so much again for all the support. I love you all, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care for now.